What's going on guys, it is JJ here back with another FIFA U20 World Cup reaction. I'm making this reaction just a bit in between the Europa League final and the other two games which have officially finished. Senegal and Poland. I don't know how to, you know, talk about this game realistically because Senegal in this contest, they didn't really have a ton to play for. Being the top of the group, all they really had to do was just hold strong defensively and continue to attack. Uh, they still played, you know, the strong lineup, the likes of Niang and Daw. Uh, and I, they all played in this contest, so Senegal really did field a strong side against the FIFA U20 World Cup hosts, but unfortunately for Poland, uh, they were they were unable to get any goals in this and I mean they had the better shot opportunities I feel like uh, they had two on goal as well so did Senegal with two on goal neither really had a ton of shooting opportunities in total uh, unlike the other contests where Colombia just went absolutely insane against Tahiti but uh, Senegal and Poland ended a nil-nil draw and this ends group B rather group A's contest uh, with a lot of disappointment for the World Cup or the U20 World Cup host Poland who they needed a win uh, in order to stay ahead of Colombia who had a, a very very good contest against Tahiti. They, I believe they finished 6-0 in that contest. Uh, so Colombia actually ended up with a better goal difference than Senegal who ends top of Group A uh, with 7 points five, plus 5 in the goal difference. They beat Colombia 2-0 and they beat Tahiti 3-0 so it's, it's all happy days for the Senegalese side uh, who has been really really good I think one of my favorite sides uh, to watch throughout the group stages of this FIFA U20 World Cup they've just been lights out in front of goal uh, except for this game where they really didn't have to be all they had to do is you know control the tempo of the game control the pace and, and they did exactly that so Senegal end up winning rather end up winning the group uh, I don't quite know the ramifications of how the groups are going to end up Obviously, uh, Poland are going to end on four points. They will unfortunately take third in the group. Colombia will take second with six points and a plus seven goal difference, rather plus plus six goal difference with all six of their goals coming uh, against Tahiti. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think Senegal, you know, maybe will perform much better uh, now as Group A winners? I think they'll play the third place team uh, in, in you know the next best overall section, which Poland could be a part of that. Uh, but I don't think they they would play Senegal overall. Uh, they could end up playing uh, one of the other teams from the other groups. I know Ecuador also ended up on plus four points in Group B. Uh, the winners of that group, Italy, and then and then of course uh, getting out of you know Group B. It, it, group B was a rather hard section. Japan as well getting out of that group uh, after their draw with with Colombia, rather not Colombia, after their draw earlier today uh, with Italy. But everything's happy days for Senegal, Poland. Uh, just gotta hope you know the goal difference can sort of stick up. Poland have a plus three goal difference, which makes it a lot easier for them, you know, to maybe make that next best in section and continue uh, what is you know their hosting of the World Cup. I hope they kind of continue themselves because it's been a pleasure to see them play uh, throughout this U20 World Cup, and they got a really easy draw, I guess, with Tahiti, uh, that you know, getting them a nice solid win, and then a draw against Colombia, and then uh, unfortunate match against Senegal, rather rather a draw against Senegal, and then an unfortunate match against Colombia. Um, but let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Senegal, will they advance far into the FIFA U20 World Cup? I say yes, simply because they've been just a, such a talented squad. Uh, you know, Amadou Sanya has been very talented. ndai has been really talented. niang has been really talented. This whole squad together is, has a lot of potential. And they didn't even play a lot of them as well in this contest. So, yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts on that down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.